Have you ever thought about creating your own mobile app? Imagine the thrill of seeing your creative vision come to life in the palm of your hand. Mobile apps have become an integral part of our daily lives, a digital extension of our physical world. From ordering a meal to booking a cab, from connecting with friends to exploring the cosmos, apps empower us to accomplish a myriad of tasks with just a few taps. This is the allure of app development. It's not just about writing lines of code, it's about using technology as a canvas for your creativity, a platform to solve problems and a conduit to make a meaningful impact. The potential of app development is only limited by your imagination. Creating a mobile app might seem daunting, but with the right tools and guidance, it's entirely within your grasp. So are you ready to embark on this exciting journey of app development? Before diving into the coding, it's crucial to understand the basics of app development. It's like learning to swim before diving into the deep end of the pool. Let's begin with the key concepts. First up, programming languages. Just like we use different languages to communicate with each other, we use programming languages to communicate with computers. Some popular languages for app development include Java, Kotlin, Swift, and JavaScript. Each has its strengths, and the choice often depends on the platform you're developing for. Speaking of platforms, these are the operating systems where your app will run. The two major players are Android and iOS, developed by Google and Apple respectively. While Android apps are typically written in Java or Kotlin, iOS apps are usually developed using Swift or Objective-C. Now, once your app is ready, you'll wanna make it available to users, and that's where app stores come into play. For Android, you have the Google Play Store, and for iOS, there's the Apple App Store. These digital marketplaces allow users to discover, download, and update your app. But before you even start coding, there's a critical step, brainstorming and planning. This is where you decide what your app will do, who it's for, and how it will look and feel. You'll need to outline the features, sketch the user interface and plan the user experience. It's like creating a blueprint before you start building a house. And don't forget, app development is not a solo journey. It involves working with designers, testers, and sometimes other developers. You'll need to use version control systems like Git to collaborate effectively. In a nutshell, app development is a multifaceted process involving a blend of technical skills, creative thinking, and project management. It's not just about writing code, it's about creating a digital product that meets the needs of your users. With a basic understanding of app development, you're ready to start building your app. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started, shall we? Next, you'll need to choose your development tools. It's like picking the right paintbrush for your masterpiece. The development platform and programming language you select should match your app idea and target audience. For instance, if you're creating a game, you might opt for Unity, a platform known for its robust gaming features. The programming language is equally important. It's the alphabet of your app, the fundamental building block. Languages like Java, Python, and JavaScript are popular choices that offer great support and versatility. If you're a beginner, you might want to start with something more user-friendly, like App Inventor for Android, which requires minimal coding or perhaps Swift, which is designed for iOS development and is known for its simplicity and efficiency. The key is to choose tools that align with your vision and skill level. Once you've chosen your tools, you can start bringing your app to life. Now we're ready to start building your app. Embarking on this journey of creation, you're about to shape your ideas into reality. It's a process, a dance of intellect and creativity where patience, perseverance, and problem solving are your faithful partners. So let's dive into the world of coding. Coding is like learning a new language, a language your device understands. It's a series of instructions that tell your device exactly what to do. And like any language, it takes time and practice to master. But don't worry, you're not alone on this voyage. There are countless resources available to help you learn and navigate the intricacies of coding. Consider online platforms like Codecademy and Udacity. They offer interactive coding courses that can guide you step by step. There are also numerous forums like Stack Overflow, where you can connect with other developers, ask questions, and find solutions to common problems. 
Remember, every coder, no matter how experienced, encounters obstacles. It's all part of the process. As you start coding your app, you'll begin with the basics, laying out the structure and defining the main functions. Think of it as constructing a house. You start with the foundation and gradually build up piece by piece. You'll establish the user interface, the interactive elements that users will see and interact with. Then, you'll code the logic that makes these elements work, the brain of your app. Along the way, you might encounter bugs, errors in your code that prevent your app from working as intended. This is where your problem-solving skills come into play. Debugging is like detective work, tracking down the culprits and fixing them. It can be frustrating, but it's also incredibly rewarding when you solve the puzzle. After many hours of coding, you'll have a working version of your app. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your app. It will take time, effort, and perhaps more than a few cups of coffee. But every line of code you write brings you one step closer to your goal. So keep at it, stay patient, and enjoy the journey. After many hours of coding, you'll have a working version of your app. Before publishing your app, you'll want to thoroughly test it. Now, why is this step so important? Think of it this way. You've been crafting a masterpiece, pouring your heart and soul into it. It's your brainchild. And the last thing you'd want is for it to go into the world with flaws that could have been avoided with some diligent testing. Testing is the final frontier before your app meets the world. It's your opportunity to ensure that your app performs exactly as you've envisioned, providing a seamless user experience. It's about finding bugs, glitches, crashes, and fixing them. It's about making sure that your app works perfectly on different devices under different conditions. Simply put, testing is your safety net. It's what stands between a successful app and a faulty one. Now, how do we go about testing an app effectively? There are a few approaches you can take. The first one is using an emulator. An emulator is a software that simulates the hardware of a physical device. It allows you to mimic different devices and test how your app performs on them. It's like having a virtual testing lab at your disposal. But remember, while emulators are great for initial testing, they can't replicate the exact performance and user experience of a physical device. So it's crucial to test your app on actual devices as well. And not just one, but a variety of them. Different screen sizes, operating systems, and versions. This will help you ensure that your app provides a consistent experience across the board. And then there's the human element, beta testers. These are real users who volunteer to test your app before it's officially released. They can provide valuable feedback and identify issues that you might have overlooked. They can help you understand how intuitive your app is, thus whether the features are easy to use and if there are any aspects that can be improved. So take your time with testing. Be thorough, be meticulous. It's a crucial part of the app development process. And once your app is bug free, it's ready to be published. It's ready to make its grand entrance into the world. And you, my friend, are ready to be an app developer. Finally, it's time to publish your app on Google Play. This is the moment we've all been working towards. But before we dive in, it's crucial to understand that publishing is more than just uploading your app to the platform. It's about setting it up for success. First things first, you need to set up a Google Play developer account. This is a relatively straightforward process. You'll need to provide some basic information, agree to the developer distribution agreement, and pay a small one-time registration fee. Once your account is set up, you're ready to publish your app. The next step is to prepare your app for submission. This involves creating a compelling app listing that includes a detailed description of your app, screenshots, and possibly a promotional video. Remember, this is your chance to sell your app to potential users, so make sure it shines. Once your app listing is ready, it's time to submit your app for review. Google Play has a review process to ensure all apps on the platform meet their quality guidelines. This process can take a few days, so be patient. If your app is rejected for some reason, don't despair. Review the feedback, make the necessary changes, and resubmit. But the work doesn't stop once your app is live on Google Play. It's important to market your app to reach your target audience. This could involve social media promotion, influencer partnerships, or even paid advertising. 
Remember, the more people who know about your app, the better. Lastly, don't forget to maintain your app post-launch. This means regularly updating your app with new features, fixing bugs, and responding to user feedback. A well-maintained app is more likely to retain users and attract new ones. Congratulations, you're now a published app developer. With the right approach, you can turn your app idea into a reality have and potentially reach millions of people around the world. So what are you waiting for? Start building your app today.